obviously this tree right here, you're real familiar with this whole setup. Um, you can see there's no limbs on our side, everything's hunched over, so it's a green tree. We've got plenty of fiber in that ash tree to break it over. I'm going to make a big fat face cut in there so it will just have complete follow through. And what I want to do is I'll make uh, my face cut and start my back cut. And we're just going to tickle away on that back and just, I'll cut a little bit, we'll tighten it up, cut a little bit. And then what I'd like to do is get the tree up and over and uh, you know, on top of the logs, that's why I put those there so it doesn't hit the concrete and bust it. Um, and hopefully we can just get it to hold on all the way over, nice and slow. Right now, I'm not gonna make a cut at all and we're just gonna tighten up and we'll see the tree move. And so as I lessen that wood at the base, that's gonna allow the tree to move even more. And so we wanna have some beefy holding wood so it will just continue all the way through and hold on, okay? All right, I'll start the truck, we'll get this uh, set up. Okay, so my winch is, the reel is completely empty, alright? So I'm gonna engage it. Hold it right there. Oh, that's not good. Look at that. There's a freaking hole right here. I didn't even see. I got to make another cut because there's a hole in the back of this thing. So what I'm going to do, you guys, I did not see that. That's crazy. I'm glad I saw that and I, I didn't continue. So I'm going to come up here and make my cut up here.
over, baby. Look at that! Look at that! Uh -huh. That's why you check everything! Look at that! If I would have cut it down here, that thing would have twisted on us because you could see it was all up in that limb. I knew it was going to hang up. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Beautiful. Look where we put it, right on that piece.